he hadn't done big world building, you need to surround filmmakers with people who've done it before. But our first instinct at Marvel is never to say no. It's to say, okay, let's see. The first amazing idea was to convince us to hire Hannah Beachler to be the production designer. She came in and did literally the greatest presentation we'd ever seen in terms of her inspiration, in terms of her passion, and she got an amazing uh, construction crew around her. And it was not always easy, but it was always amazing. The warrior fall sequence, which is where he fights to, uh, fights to, to get the mantle of, of king, was gigantic. It was a giant, giant cliff set with real waterfalls and a real pool. The light kept changing and the clouds were coming in Atlanta, so we had these giant lights to light the sequence for the Wakandan sun. And the next day, this is gonna sound more dramatic than it was, but it was pretty dramatic, the cast could not see. They got snow uh, burn, like, a, like when you're out skiing. And with it, we just blinded the entire cast of Black Panther. <laughs> And about, and about 300 extras. And it, nobody knew what it was at first. They thought it was chemicals in the water, but there were no chemicals in the water because everybody, we were being very conscious of that. And it turned out to be the, the lights. So we changed the lights a little bit. We provided everybody with sunglasses. So if you think there's no way that cast or that scene could look any cooler, imagine them all wearing sunglasses. Uh, it was pretty neat. <laughs> 